All right, here we are in Fort Mojave, Arizona, and uh, we just picked up this Suzuki. We're gonna use it to fix Ed's golden nugget with and possibly make another vehicle out of. But uh, we'll get it home and up to Paul's and we'll get it worked out. So today we're gonna be doing links on the banana. We've been running Schedule 40 pipe. I know, not very good. And we're gonna be fixing that with some nice DOM that we got from Barnes Four Wheel Drive. So that's what we're doing today. So Lizzie, you're welding. Ready to do something fun over here? Yeah. Who's our camera girl today? <laughs> Not a very good one. <laughs> so this upper link, this joint up here is a stock joint off of a TJ or a something. I don't know. I don't know all the J's. People think I'm a Jeep expert. And I'm not. I'm an expert on this Jeep, but I'm not a Jeep expert. But anyway, that's a, that's a factory end that we just welded a couple times to get to this size. And this is a Johnny joint on this end. Um, this is actually DOM, but it's not long enough. We've got these cranked out further than I want them, and they're not quite cranked out enough for my pinion angle. And then these down here are just Schedule 40 pipe. Two of these are for the front upper, or the rear upper, and these are for the rear lower, and these are for the front lower and the front upper, and this is the steering. Now what we have to make sure and do perfectly here is get the right ones of these in the right places. So this is the left-handed ones. You can tell because they've got this little groove cut in them. Open up those joints, and I think those are both right-handed ones. What's the difference between right and left-handed? The way the threads are cut. So when you have the left-handed thread on one side and the right-handed thread on the other, you can adjust the length of the link by just twisting it right there. I like these joints. These ones have a ton of thread. This is a joint that I got from Barnes, and this is a joint that I got from somewhere else. And look at the difference in how long the threads are. Sorry. So there's way more adjustability in here and while maintaining strength. So let's get one of these built. This part on first? Mm-hmm. I think she's gonna get it guys. What do you think Jamie? Do you think she's gonna get it? I think she'll get it. I wouldn't set you up for failure Lizzie. Mm. <laughs> the groove cut in the ring, what does it mean? It means it's left-handed. So you've got to go lefty tidy righty loosey. That's weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See this is one. <laughs> I was definitely the last one to have this Helmet on. Because it's my size. You're gonna wanna do four tacks on this here, 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 and here. Okay, now come over here and do the same thing. That was a nice face. Was it? Alright. For any of you guys that have done this, you know how hard it is. You're like front, upper, rear link. And then you gotta remember that because you also have a rear, upper, front link. It's just not easy for a guy like me. Some of you may be wondering where Rudy is. Rudy is building gates. That's why I'm just like this, because I'm getting ready to build gates. So we're kind of revamping the yard and splitting things up. We're tired of that ugly gate. We wanna make it more inviting to those of you that come and visit us. And so we need to build new gates for the openings that we're creating. And uh, it's taking four gates, four new gates. Three of them are really big, heavy gates. So this is the steel, some of the steel we'll be using. Very nice. It's gonna take him a while to get that done. And he's working on those right now. I kind of feel bad because this is a lot more fun place to work than just all by yourself in a big gate making facility. I made a massive blunder. <laughs> Do you want to see what the blunder is? I got ahead of myself. They call this getting ahead of yourself. See the problem here? We forgot to measure that. We didn't measure it. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. What are you laughing at? <laughs> they say that it takes a big man to admit that he made a mistake. And I want you to know that I am not a big man. 
So we need it to be 39 and a half nominally. We'll put a mark and then we'll check it. I'm having one of those days. You're having a Tucker day? Yes. Hey, Lizzie, look at me. Yes? What? It doesn't take you very long to get back. Am I? Oh my gosh! I am. <laughs> Do that backwards. It takes a big man to admit when Lizzie made a mistake. And I'm a big man. <laughs> okay, about an inch out, and we're looking at 46 and a half. 55 and a half. Alright, so. Bring out my old friend, Mr. Clawhammer here. Okay. Okay, Lizzie, I'm gonna weld the first one. And then I'm gonna have you weld the second one. Do you know where my hood is? This is your hood. There should be another hood here though. Has anybody else seen a hood in the shop? Do we need to go to Sultan's and buy Lizzie a hood? Is it time for your own welding gear, Lizzie? Yeah. Let's go to Sultan's. <laughs> Who got you smiling like that? Matt's off for recovery. I'm going to get my own welding helmet. Hello, Matt. Just about had a crash. We need to get Lizzie set up for welding. So we're looking for hood, gloves, jacket. That's for overhead welding. We were, at, we were wondering where the children's welding department was. Okay. And then those are the gloves you wanted? That has the biggest lens and then digital in here. Nothing's really changed. I'm just trying to get this piece of metal and this piece of metal to be the same piece of metal. I don't even care about these uh, tacks. I'm not, I'm not at treating these tacks like they're even there. I'm gonna burn right across them. And I'm not looking for a pretty bead. I'm looking for a strong bead. There's quite a, a, a wide uh, groove in there. You gotta, you know, you're gonna wanna fill that all the way up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now. When I start welding, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag back onto this before I start coming because I want to make that I want to connect this weld to this weld, and then I'm going plenty far past to mm -hmm. start on that. Yeah, that's super strong. Okay, you want to give it a try? Yeah. Just have you start at the top here and just burn right across the top of that. Looks pretty good, Lizzie. Almost going. Uh, in, the circles are almost too big. Okay. So, so make them a little, a little bit. Little make them a little bit tighter. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, that's good. You're getting really good penetration. It's working nice. Now just finish it up. Loops got a little bit big on that one, but okay. it's still a good job. Like. I'd right, put that up against against anything strength-wise. I can see so dang good with this helmet. I love it. <laughs> yeah, we've been making her weld with this. And I'm feeling pretty bad about it right now. All right. Looks pretty good. The next thing we need to do is we need to get these upper links off. We need to get these upper links off. So this is going to be a 7 8 and a 13 16 So okay. you can take you can take all these links out and the axle will essentially hang there by the okay. shocks. But just take all the nuts off of all of them and then come get me. just took off all of the nuts um 
off of the links. So here, this one, that one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. And Matt left, so he told me just to leave it here. So I guess that's what I'm doing. So it's another day of working on the banana, but first we are going to paint my welding helmet. Yeah. Green, because it's an awesome color. What Lizzie said. Okay, so let me show you how to get this to stick to plastic. You want it super thin like that, your first coat. All right, so let this dry for, oh, I'm supposed to read all the directions before beginning the project. Okay, we did all that. Yeah, there's no water on it. Shake can vigorously for one minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, 24 hours. You're not welding the day with this. So it says allow a few minutes between coats, so I don't know what that means. I mean, a few minutes. I know what that means. I'm not an idiot. Okay, it's all you now. All right. So it is an entirely different day because we ran out of time and then we went to another recovery. This is day three. This is th it's three days later. Trevor is going to help with the filming today. Lizzie's going to do all the work. Nothing new. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and it's Veterans Day. So a big salute to our veterans. We've got uh, Ed's a Korean War vet. Hefe's been to Iraq twice, and I'm just a lucky vet. So, thanks for your service. Amen. That was Power. easy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna show you a little trick I learned a long time ago. First of all, we need these threaded out of there, Lizzie. Mm, dang it. Why does stuck. life have to be so difficult? So we're going to want to put some anti-seize on these before we put them together. So we're going to get messy. It's not like it's really stuck. It's just barely stuck. So much that this screwdriver can assist. It doesn't take a, a whole bunch to be enough. So we don't have an extremely wet, damp climate. We don't have any salt or anything like that to worry about. So that's plenty of anti-seize. What's the weather like today, Ed? Oh, nice day, no wind, no clouds. About 65 degrees. It'll warm up to 70 or better. Okay, which is the, where's the one we took off right there? I have so many ideas this morning. I'm so sore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we rotate this until it's the right length. So it's the same length as that one. Okay, as soon as that falls down through there, we know that it's adjusted correctly. There we go. That's about where we want it. There's the nut for it. There's the nut for this one. You got the wrenches. Okay. Ta -da. The hammer wins again. If you wanna tighten these up, and I'm gonna get the next one ready. And just try not to spin that. How tight do you want them? As tight as you can get them. And then remind me to go through and check them because these are important. Very important. No, you moved it. It's not tight enough. <laughs> it ain't moving no more. Dang, you're strong, Lizzie. Dang. Okay. That's. Let me hit it with a hammer. It's not. It will be after I hit it with a hammer. Go in? Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to hit it with a hammer. <laughs> okay, we don't want to go too far because we've got to get the nut on it. 
Jeez, that almost landed in my face. If it would have came out, it would have landed in my face. All right, so while Lizzie's tightening those up, I'm gonna go prep those for their duty. <laughs> he said duty. All right, so we got this axle nice and square. We got it square with the chassis and centered left and right. And we've got the pinion angle where it looks good. So now we're just gonna take and tighten these jam nuts up and put the tires on and call it a day. Ready to go. Double thumbs up. All right, well that was another day. We got some stuff done. Lizzie's got all her welding gear good to go. Oh yeah. We got more welding to do, so that's good. Lizzie is gonna be taking blue steel and hauling the sidekick out to Fabrat's shop so that Colt can pull the engine out of it and stuff it in the golden nugget. Big block style.